Hey everybody, this video is going to be an introduction um, to ankle sprains, particularly inversion ankle sprains or um, also known as lateral ankle sprains because they are more common. Um, go ahead right now and just take your foot and you'll notice that when you invert it or point it so at the bottom, the plantar surface of your foot is facing medially or, or towards the middle of you, that your foot likes to move a lot more that way than it does the other way or an eversion where you move your foot outwards. Um, you know, that's why like when you're playing basketball or running, you actually roll your ankles, what some people call it. What they're talking about is where they actually step wrong, you know, they get off balance and they step or they, come, they jump up and they come down and their foot rolls on the outside. Um, because of a ligament called the deltoid ligament on the median side, medial side, we don't have the eversion near as much as we have that inversion. Today we're going to talk about those inversion strain, uh, sprains, um, and which are very high yield. Uh, as far as the grading classification, grading one, grading two, grading three, for things like board examinations or PT examinations or orthopedic examinations, that sort of thing. Um, real quick, um, I'm gonna go over some anatomy here. We have our tibia, which is this big bone, our fibula, which is on the outside of our lower limb, right? We have two bones in our lower limb. And the other bones that are of particular importance here are the calcaneus um, and the talus. Now, the talus bone is really what connects the foot to the tibia or to the lower leg, right? And the calcaneus is your heel. So if you feel the back of your foot, this is the bone you're gonna be feeling. Right? You know, you have your Achilles tendon, right? Which is really the gastroc tendon inserting there. Um, these four bones are ones that are of particular importance for this video. Uh, and so now, you know, we have these grading schemes, right? And the, the question that's most popular on boards is if they injured um, these ligaments, what grading of ankle sprain would it be, right? They make it really hard and confusing. Or like um, if they had a grade, if they were diagnosed with a grade two sprain, which ligaments were affected? And now it's, it's much, much simpler than that. They make it a lot harder than it has to be. Um, and they just want to know if you know this one basic concept. And that concept is coming off the fibula, which is a smaller bone on the lateral side of your lower limb, there are three ligaments that come off it that are of importance here. You have an anterior and a posterior talofibular ligament. So I'm just going to write that. Talofibular. Now just think about that name. What does it say? Well, it goes from the talus this bone here, right? The connection between the tibia and the foot and the fibula, this bone here. You have an anterior and a posterior talofibular ligament. One here and the other one from there posteriorly. And the last one that's of importance is the calcaneofibular, which goes from the calcaneus to the fibula. And you only have one of those, right? So, so far we have one, two, three ligaments that we're dealing with here. And as you know, an ankle sprain is different from a strain because a sprain with a P deals with ligamentous or like articular damage. Whereas if you have a strain, they're talking about the muscle bed there, right? The big, uh, so if you injured your biceps brachii doing curls, getting huge, that's going to be a strain, a biceps strain with a T. But we're talking about ligaments here, so let's we're talking about ankle sprains or a sprained ankle, right? Um, now, as you can see here, there's an anterior one, a middle one, and a posterior one, right? One, two, three, three ligaments. The anterior talofibular, the calcaneofibular, which is only one of, and the posterior talofibular. Now, that's, that's really nice for us because that's the exact way that we name the ankle sprains. So if you have a grade one ankle sprain, the ligament that's injured is just the front one. If you have a grade two, well two, there's gonna be two ligaments affected and it's gonna be the anterior and the middle one. And if you have a grade three ankle sprain, that's gonna affect three different ligaments or the anterior, the middle, and the posterior. So we always start with an anterior one. It's like, it is possible, but for board examinations, it's never gonna happen um, that like you'd only injure the posterior talofibular ligament. For board examinations, you know, they're, they're kind of a dumbed down or not necessarily realistic. If you have a grade one, it can only be the anterior talofibular. So just think you're working around the outside of the foot. You're working from back to front. One, one, two, one, two, three. And that is the grade one, grade two, grade three. 
And there you have an easy way to remember um, ankle sprains and their grading classification. And I, you know, you'll get like two questions on you. You'll be surprised. Uh, another thing, just on an, an side, is a lot of people talk about high ankle sprains or like the layman obviously, or oftentimes refers to a high ankle sprain. Um, that doesn't mean like, you know, like a, like a sprain, like, oh man, like up here, like one of these ligaments got hit high or something like that. What that's actually referring to commonly is there's like a syndesmotic membrane between the tibia and the fibula, um, you know, all the way down, like in that gap there. And that can actually, if you have a torsion force or some sort of um, sprain to that membrane there, that's what we call a high ankle sprain. That doesn't necessarily mean like one of these higher ligaments was sprained and this lower one was a nut. That's, that's something different. We're, we're talking here about the inversion where the foot, the plantar surface of the foot turns inverted or to the medial side where you roll your ankle and uh, grade one, grade two, and grade three. One being just the anterior talofibular, two being the anterior, and then work your way around. So it's the anterior and the calcaneofibular and then grade three be anterior, calcaneal fibular, and posterior. Hopefully I was a bit redundant there. Hopefully you uh, get what I'm talking about. Again, a sprain is dealing with ligaments and a strain with a T is dealing with muscles. Thank you.